The Modern Roots March campaign is dedicated to establishing a connection with our everyday lives to the infrastructure beneath our feet. Once you discover how reliant we are on buried utilities, you may never be able to see your life the same way ever again. Everything from charging your phone, to opening your refrigerator, and taking a shower is all associated with underground facilities. It makes sense if you don't think about them often, considering they're kept out of sight and out of mind. With more than 20 million miles of buried facilities across America, it's incredible to imagine our lives without them. Just like the roots providing nutrients to a tree, buried infrastructure provides the various amenities that facilitate modern life. Buried infrastructure is anything constructed underground regarding electricity, water, gas, oil, sewage, and other substances. These are the modern roots. Civil engineering moves back centuries. Dating back to 500 BC, the Etruscans created the first underground sewers in Rome. Overall, sewer systems were favorable in ancient Europe and Asia. In fact, the Great Bath in Mahendradaro, Pakistan dates back to the 3rd millennium BC. Most homes had washrooms there, along with an extensive sewage system to suggest that cleanliness was prioritized. Evidence of a primitive two-channel sanitation system separating fresh water from wastewater was also discovered in Scotland dating back to 3000 BC. It wouldn't be until the late 1850s that they would be introduced in the United States in Chicago and Brooklyn. By 1880, 598 cities in the United States had water piped to their citizens. Also around 500 BC, the Chinese began using crude bamboo as pipelines to transport gas that seeped to the surface as a means to boil seawater to get drinkable water. The first commercialized natural gas started in Britain around 1785, which was produced from coal to light homes and streets. In 1816, Baltimore, Maryland became the first city in the United States to light its streets with gas. As early electrical power systems rose in popularity, undergrounding began to increase too. Thomas Edison used undergrounding in his early distribution networks, first being insulated with jute in 1880 and then rubber in 1882. Today, we use spray paint markings to identify the location of buried utility. Here is the breakdown. Red is electric, orange is communications, yellow represents gas, green sewer, blue is potable water, purple, reclaimed water, pink, survey markings, and white is proposed excavation. The greatest thing to remember is that whether you're planting a tree, installing a fence, or setting up your mailbox, always call 811 before you dig. The consequences for damaging these lines are significant, and yet, some people are still unfamiliar with how to safely navigate their digging project. We hope this encourages you to think about modern roots. When you see a tree, you know that its roots are buried below. Now you also know that the same thing applies to your home, office buildings, street lights, and more.